Hello Year 7, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to your Achievement Assembly for this half term. As you know, we always have an Achievement Assembly after each half term to celebrate your achievements. And this Assembly is going to be celebrating your achievements with the work that you've been submitting and also achievements that you've been doing outside of school. So I'm going to go through the categories now and let's see who's got the awards. So I'm going to start the Achievement Assembly just as I normally would with Subject Stars. So this has been nominations by your class teachers about the work that you have been submitting through your time at home. So let's see who's won the awards. So firstly, in art, we have a nomination for Arlo from Mrs. Williams for his determination to improve his skills in art. And we also have a nomination for Katie for a fantastic art project and a very high standard of work. And that's from Mrs. Wilkin. So well done to you both. For DT, we have a nomination for Harry, who has been doing lots of extra things as well as completing his work, and that nomination is from Miss Kane. And we also have a nomination for Beatrice, who has completed all her DT work and cooking lots of treats, and that's from Miss Bradford. So again, well done to Harry and Beatrice. In drama, we have another nomination for Beatrice, and this is for completing some fantastic work at home based on Greek theatre, and that's from Mrs Clark. So well done, Beatrice. For English, we have a nomination from Miss Grant for Rowan, and that is for exceptional resilience and self-motivation. And we also have a nomination from Miss Furlong for Oscar for being really positive and staying upbeat throughout this period while sending in lots of great work. So well done to Rowan and Oscar. For Geography, we have a nomination for Simi, and that is for her great effort into her work each week. And we also have a nomination for Oliver M, and that's for completing additional work each week and also going above and beyond expectations. And those nominations were both from Miss Detton. So well done to Simi and well done to Oliver. For maths, we've got quite a few nominations for maths. So firstly, a nomination again for Oliver M. And that's from Mr Downer for completing all his tasks and he always asks for help via Teams. And we have a nomination for Sufian, who always prompt in collecting his Hegarty tasks on time. And that's from Mr Lander. And we also have a nomination for Grace, and that is for determination in improving her short division ability. And that's from Miss Smith. So well done to Oliver M, Sophia and Grace. And we also have awards for Daniel for his determination in improving his short division ability, again from Miss Smith. And we have an award for Bianca for the amazing effort put into all of her work this half term, and that's from Miss Carter. So well done to Daniel and Bianca. For music, I've nominated Beatrice for always completing the work to, on time and to a high standard. I've also nominated Simi again for completing all your work and to a high standard. I've nominated Al for being really creative with the work. And I've also nominated Beth for being really creative and completing all the work set. So well done to Beatrice, Simi, Al and Beth. For science, we have another nomination for Beatrice, and this is from Mr Strachan, and he says you're constantly sending in excellent work above and beyond what is expected, so well done Beatrice. And for Spanish, we have an award for Oliver GP, and this is from Mrs Barrett, who says fabulous work from Ollie, he has gone above and beyond and has worked really hard and submitted regularly on Teams, and well done Oliver. Now the next category is the Be Kind Award and I sent you a link last week for you to nominate someone who has shown you some kindness whilst we've been at home. So these are the nominations. So I'm going to read out the person who received the nomination and I'm also going to read the reason why that person was nominated. So with one nomination we have Amari. He always makes my day better and he is really kind and funny. Arlo. He helps me and he is very nice. Beatrice, always does the right thing and when anyone is down, she will go up to them. And Delilah, they have helped me through this hard time and helped me when I struggled with work and things. So well done to Amari, Arlo, Beatrice and Delilah. Also well done to Eve. I chose her because she helps me when I didn't understand the work in a kind way. Fred. He has visited me once or twice a week since the beginning of quarantine and always makes me feel better when I talk to him. K. 
hesitating because she is keeping up my spirits by exploring a new online game with me. Later, he talks to me when I'm on my own. Lila, she has been so supportive and the best friend I could ever have. So well done to Eve, Fred, Katie, Leighton and Lila. Also, well done to Macy. She is a really nice person to talk to whenever you feel lonely or upset. Mia, she has been texting me to see if I'm okay at home and being really kind to me. Neve, she is always determined to do her work and she is very helpful to the teachers. Nikolai, they helped me with one of the math challenges. And Ria, because whenever we're on FaceTime, she helps me with my work that I'm struggling on. So again, well done to Macy, Mia, Neve, Nikolai and Ria. And also, well done to Rosie Jean. She will always help me when I'm struggling. Rio, he talks to me when I didn't have anyone else to talk to on Outlook. And Taman, they help me understand the team's work. So well done to Rosie Jean, Rio and Taman. There was also a few people that received two nominations. So well done to Bill. When we first started online school, I was really confused and couldn't get the hang of it and Bill helped me. And also for Bill, they helped me feel better about myself and was there for me. India. India has helped me when I was confused on my work. And also, India was welcoming when I was new to the school. Layla. Even though we have to work from home and we cannot see our friends, me and Layla will text each other and if one of us needs help with homework, we will help each other and she can always make me laugh. And also for Layla, Layla has helped me with school a lot through FaceTime. So well done to Bill, India and Layla. The next category we have is achievements outside of school and recently I emailed your parents to ask what you've been doing outside of school and is there anything that they wish to share with us so that I can put it in the achievement assembly and I've had a few responses for um, the achievement assembly so we're going to go through them now and I was really looking forward to seeing what you guys have been doing outside of school so I hope you enjoy this. So firstly Ewan has been incredibly supportive of all of his family helping his younger brother with his schoolwork and has managed his own workload too. He also made delicious biscuits with no help. Ewan has also carried on with his training program for his athletics in order to maintain his fitness ready for when we can return. Eve has been diligently working away every day at her schoolwork. She's also taken a light to baking and made a birthday cake for a friend of her parents who owns and runs a music pub. It was Eve's idea to make the cake and she also helped her dad with a video of his music pupils who regularly perform at the pub. Daniel has been doing some baking whilst he's been at home and Oscar has also been enjoying baking more during his time at home and he has made elephant's feet and pita breads, both of which his family really enjoyed. He also cooked spaghetti and meatballs, curry and chicken katsu curry. So well done to Ewan, Eve, Daniel and Oscar. Also, Isha is helping a lot at home with all sorts of dinners and desserts. She's also learning and teaching her siblings too. Rio has done PE with Joe Wicks almost every day after the eight weeks. He has helped make desserts and helped assemble a cross trainer with his dad. He has also definitely improved a lot in Spanish and is enjoying practicing every day. Rio has been very creative. She has experimented with lots of crafts and shown resilience, especially when creating a homemade candy floss machine. Rowan has worked remarkably well on his own. He has acquired quite a few practical and transferable skills including organising his work, communicating by email, staying focused during work, etc. Rowan has acquired quite a few life skills. Outside school hours he has been helping with growing and nurturing plants. He also made a pond in the garden with help from his dad. Rowan has also learned how to repair bikes and he's also learned how to bake. He made cupcakes today in his mum's electric cupcake maker after he finished his schoolwork. He has also been in his spare time creating Warhammer models. He has also spent time drawing and painting. He's also learned how to make badges out of heat shrink film and has made quite a few of these badges. So well done to Isha, Rio, Ria and Rowan. Thank you for all the responses that I received regarding the achievements outside of school. And I hope you enjoyed listening to that as much as I did reading them. Our next category is the Top 5 Students Award. And this is based off how many gold coins you have received in this half term. So let's see who's achieved this award. 
In joint fifth place with four gold coins, we have Aman, Simi and Oliver E. So well done to you three. In fourth place with five gold coins, we have Mohammed. So well done to you, Mohammed. In joint third place with six gold coins, we have Isha, Kai and Rhea. So well done to you all. In joint second place with seven gold coins, we have Bianca and Delilah. So well done to you both. And in first place with eight gold coins, it's Bill. So Bill, well done to you. And that brings us to the end of the Achievement Assembly. I hope you all enjoyed that. A massive well done to each and every one of you. And well done to those of you that have won an award. I hope to see you really, really soon. And please do have a really good half term. Take care, guys. Stay safe. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye.